The day's walk is a circular walk from Oswick in the Yorkshire Dales through the lovely Oxenby Wood, Wharf Wood, before returning through Pfizer. Before we get started, let's have a quick look at our walking through today. We leave Oswick by the Pennine Bridleway and then pass over the Flasco footbridge. Heading up into Oxenby Wood in April and May, you are met with a beautiful carpet of bluebells with wonderful surrounding views. Oxenby Wood is a designated site of special scientific interest and includes several areas of limestone pavement. On exiting Wharfwood, there are views across in the distance to Penigent on the horizon. We then head along Pfizer Nick track down into Pfizer. Then from Pfizer, we follow the walled Pennine Bridleway back to Oswick. Stay watching until the end so you can see where to eat and drink after the walk. We are starting today's walk from the market cross in the centre of Oswick. Only the base remains from the original medieval market cross, with the pillar being a grade 2 listed replica from around the 1830s. We leave the market cross to walk along the road, initially passing by the Cross Lee stores and the post office. Oswick itself hosts an annual street market and cuckoo festival where the village is decorated with handmade cuckoos. On the side of the village store is an information sign telling you more about Oswick. Cross Lee stores does sell food to go, bakery goods and hot drinks if you want something whilst you are on your walk. Continue along the road where we soon pass by the Gamecock Inn. Once past the Gamecock Inn, just keep walking along the pavement and then along the road for about 400 metres. Just before the building, we turn right off the road to walk down the Pennine Bridleway following the Pfizer one and three quarter miles footpath sign. Oxenby Wood is visible now, straight ahead. Short distance further on, you meet and then pass over Flasco Bridge. For about 400 metres you arrive at a path junction. We are going to continue straight on along the walled path here. 
the more main track to the right forms part of our return journey. Walk straight on now along the walled wood lane track that initially bends around to the left. For a couple of hundred metres, we turn right off this wood lane track to head up the walled footpath. But just before we do that, if you look around to your left, you can see Norber and the erratics on the hill just to the right of Robin Proctor's scar. walk up along the path where, after a short distance, we pass through a gate. On the gate, we pass through the two gate posts and head straight on uphill along the path, keeping to the right of the wall. Just stopping from time to time to admire the unusual terrain and views here near the old disused quarry. Continuing along the path by the side of the wall, we soon reach and then pass through the next gate. Through this gate, if it's April or May, you get the first indication of the bluebells that lie ahead. We walk on for a few more metres to turn right uphill just before the information sign telling us about Oxenborough Wood and Wharfwood.
from the information board, walk up the waymarked path. The woods are wonderful all year round, but are even more special in April and May when the bluebells are out, forming a carpet through which the footpath wends its merry way. Where the path splits just before this wooden way marker, take the wider right hand path. Looking behind, this extra height gain now affords us views of Ingleborough and Simon Fell on the horizon. Oxenburg and Wharf Woods are historical wood pastures grazed at certain times of the year to maintain their rich diversity of plants that have adopted to the limestone soils. If you enjoy these videos, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know when any new walks have been uploaded. It's free to subscribe and your likes and comments really do help our channel. This whole area forms part of the Oxenburg and Warfords site of special scientific interest and includes several areas of limestone pavement.
as the path leaves the trees in this more open area, you can see a line of wooden way markers stretching out in front. This path continues on through Oxenbury Wood, and if you wanted to cut this walk short, you can go straight on here as you will meet up with our homebound path later on. For now though, we're going to leave this path here, taking the left hand path, and then almost immediately left again, following the wooden way markers as we head around towards Wharf Wood. Again, we pass by more areas of limestone pavement. As it's a shorter walk today, I thought we'd just wander for a while in real speed and listen to the bird song, albeit with some heavy sounding footsteps. I think I might need silences on my fell shoes. After a while, we reach and pass over a stone style built into a wall. Over the wall is wharf wood. Just continue ahead on the way marked path. On our website, the route of today's Oxenby Wood, Wharf Wood and Pfizer Walk from Oswick is set out on an Ordnance Survey map along with a GPS download for your phone or GPS device. The links for our Walks for All website is down in the description below. A little change of colour here, rather than the carpet of bluebells, we now have a smattering of yellow flowers. I'm not the greatest on flora identification, but I think these are cowslips. If not, let me know in the comments below.
you have any thoughts about this walk or find there are any issues with any of the footpaths used, please share that with us down in the comments below. The path eventually reaches a stone style built into a wall, over which you can see Pen again on the horizon. Just before the wall is another information board about Oxenburg and Wharf Wood. Pass over the style and gate that are built into the wall. We now turn right to start heading along the track. Pass through this next gate. In behind, through the gate we just passed through, you can see Penny Ghent, which along with Wernside and Ingleborough make up what is known as the Yorkshire Three Peaks. And now on the Pfizer Nick track. The wood over to the right here is Pfizer wood. As the track bends around to the left, ahead now is the hamlet of Pfizer. through this next gate. Then after about 200 meters, you pass by Elaine's tea room, but more on that later.
we are going to walk straight on here. But just before the short cobble section, there is an alternative footpath back to Oswick if you wanted to walk back through the fields. It basically runs parallel to the path that we're going to walk down. Around the next bend, just before the road starts to rise, we are going to turn right in front of the farm building. We will follow the Pennine Bridleway to Oswick, one and a quarter miles footpath sign. So I'll pass through the gate. This track forms part of the Pennine Bridleway and a Pennine Journey. The Pennine Bridleway is a 205 mile trail from Middleton Top in Derbyshire to Ravenstone Dale in Cumbria, with its full length officially opened in 2012 by Martin Clunes, the then president of the British Horse Society. Whereas the Pennine Journey is a 247 mile trail starting and ending in Settle in the Yorkshire Dales and is based on a 211 mile walk Alfred Wainwright undertook in 1938 and then later wrote a book about it called The Pennine Journey, The Story of a Long Walk in 1938. The book was eventually published in 1986. Just after the building ahead, which is Cat's Hole Barn, the path becomes unsurfaced. Over to the right ahead is Oxenburg Wood again. By some ruins of Melding's barn, another path comes in from the left. We just continue straight on though here, following the Pennine Bridleway, Oswick footpath sign. Walk over the footbridge and continue along the walled path. If you took the alternative path back from Pfizer across the fields, or cut the walk short in Oxenborough Wood and then join that path. This style on the right is where you rejoin our path.
After having walked about 500 metres from Melding's Barn, we reached this path junction that we were at near the start of the walk. This time, we will follow the wider gravel track around to the left. This gravel track is called Wood Lane. If you are new to hiking or just want ideas for what walking gear to wear and take on your walk, check out our kit list recommendations in the description below. It meets Grey Stomber Lane, which is one of the roads into Oswick from the A65 by Oswick Bridge. We turn right here to pass over the bridge. We pass by the Traddock Hotel, Restaurant and Bar. To then head on the short distance back to the Market Cross where we started the walk. Whilst that ends our walk for today, as promised at the start, let's have a look now where you can eat and drink after and during the walk. First place is the Gamecock Inn that we passed at the start of the walk. It serves good food with a French twist and has a range of cascales. It's dog friendly in the bar area, has some accommodation and has another beer garden at the back. It also has its own bakery with desserts and pastries to take out. You may notice the sign saying business to let, but since I filmed this on the 16th of May, I've read that Eric, the French chef and owner, is now staying for a few more years. The next place is Elaine's Tea Room, which was halfway around the walk at Pfizer. It serves homemade food, homemade cakes, scones, and has a daily specials board, along with hot, cold and alcoholic drinks. It's dog friendly and has seating inside and out. The final place we passed just before the end of the walk was the Traddock, a country house hotel with a bar and a restaurant. It has a brasserie menu, a lunch menu, a tasting menu, and serves a wide range of drinks. I believe the Traddock is dog friendly, but they are not allowed in the two restaurants. Just before ending today's walk, we've put together a short fly through created using the Ordnance Survey app, the link for which is in the description below, to show you where you've been and give the area a little more perspective. We started at the Market Cross and then headed out along the road before turning right in the direction of Oxenber Wood. We then turn left along Wood Lane Track before turning right to head up into Oxenber Wood itself.
On reaching the clearing, there was a line of wooden wear markers ahead of us. You can see here they lead through Oxenby Wood, and you could drop down to meet our return route. We ignored that though, and we headed on around to the left. We headed on through Wharfwood to turn right onto Pfizer Nick. We then followed that down into Pfizer, passing by Elaine's Tea Rooms, and then turning right along the Pennine Bridleway. We then followed the Pennine Bridleway back to the Path Junction near the start of the walk. We then followed the lane around to the left, and then followed that along to pass back over Oswick Bridge to head back to the Market Cross where we started the walk.